What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today I wanna to talk about the PlayStation 4 Neo. This is a very strong rumor. It's been kind of broken by GiantBomb.com. I'm gonna put a link to the article uh, on GiantBomb.com down in the description. So if you wanna know more about this, if you wanna know uh, all of the research that they did on this topic, uh, it's a really interesting read. I definitely recommend going and checking it out. But here is the gist of it, right? PlayStation 4, is going to have an hardware upgrade. It's gonna have a newer CPU that's faster than the old CPU, a new GPU that's faster than the old GPU, and memory that is faster than the old memory. What this should have or provide for gamers is a 4K compatible PlayStation 4 that can run games at higher frame rates and possibly higher resolutions. Now, I don't think we're gonna see native 4K games with the PlayStation Neo. I think that's, uh, maybe we'll see a couple of smaller indie games that have simpler graphics that can run at 4K resolutions. But for the most part, your, your big games like Uncharted or Ratchet and Clank or Destiny 2, they're not gonna run at 4K. There's too many textures to push around. There's too much action. Uh, they're gonna still run at like 1080p and maybe the PlayStation 4 Neo will be able to up res them to 4K. Uh, they will, the PlayStation 4 Neo will allow you to download or watch Netflix or Amazon 4K video and broadcast that to your TV, which is a really nice feature. If you have a 4K TV, 4K video looks stunning. And if the PlayStation can do that, that's gonna look really great. It's gonna be a nice way to show off your PlayStation 4K, uh, show off your new TV, uh, and it just looks better. Also, if they do decide to include a 4K Blu-ray player in the PlayStation Neo, that could be a real selling feature. Similar to the way the PlayStation 2 had a DVD player, this, the way the PS3 had a Blu-ray player. You know, these are the things that sell consoles to people who aren't, maybe they're not hardcore gamers, but hey, this Blu-ray player can play ultra 4K video. Uh, and it can play some PlayStation games. So why don't I get this one over that Panasonic that's sitting right next to it, right? The, it would help sell the PlayStation 4, and I think that that's very attractive to Sony. They're already selling PlayStation 4s like they're hotcakes, so why not add a couple more features and make them sell even better? Now, there is gonna be some stuff that pisses people off in here. Games are going to be able to run in Neo mode. Now, a developer would have to develop a specific Neo mode for this to happen. But I think that's gonna be required at this point. So let's say Destiny 2 comes out. Destiny on a base PlayStation 4, a PlayStation 4 that we have now, would run, you know, kinda, it would look a lot like what it looks like now, what Destiny looks like now. But on a Neo, instead of running 30 frames per second, maybe it runs 60 frames per second. That's awesome if you have a Neo. If you don't have a Neo, that kind of sucks because you're gonna be at a significant disadvantage when you're playing in the Crucible to anybody who does have a Neo. Now, I'll be honest with you, I am definitely gonna buy a Neo, right? If this thing comes out fall 2016, like I suspect it will, I will definitely pre-order this thing. I will definitely be buying one. Why? Because there's gonna be games that take advantage of this hardware. Uh, I'm actually interested in getting a 4K TV. Uh, all these things line up for me to, to get me to buy one. Now I have two PS4s right now. And that kind of sucks. You know, I've spent upwards of, I think around $700 on PlayStation 4s already. And now let's assume that the PS4 Neo is going to cost another 400. That's $1,100 on one console. You know, obviously it's, it's different versions of the console, but it's still, you know, a PlayStation 4. And that's $1,100 worth of expenditure just on PlayStation 4. However, I do want higher fidelity graphics. I do want 60 frames per second in my games. And I think that is what the PlayStation 4 Neo is going to bring to games. If I didn't have adult money, right? If I was, you know, a teenager, this would kind of hose me off, especially if I just bought a PlayStation 4 in the last six months or even a year. You know, if I had waited, I could have gotten the better hardware at, you know, minimally more money. But I will say as an adult with expendable income, I am really looking forward to this. I would like a PlayStation 4 that can display 4K video that can play games at 60 frames per second 
with the current graphical fidelity that we see in games like Destiny or The Division. You know, how good would The Division be on PS4 if it could run at 60 frames per second? How good would Destiny 2 be if it could run at 60 frames per second? I think a lot better. Now, there are some interesting things that are going to happen here. Obviously, this news is going to get a lot of hate from a lot of people who are bitter that they just bought a PS4, right? That's understandable to me, you know? Also, it's going to get hate from the players who buy the Neo because they're going to be pissed off that some games are going to be hobbled by the fact that they have to run on the base PlayStation 4, right? Just like uh, in the Destiny community, a lot of people say, you know, just drop development for the Xbox 360 and the PS3 because then Destiny on the PS4 and Xbox One can be a lot better. It can be... It can loosen those shackles of that old gen development a lot of people believe that destiny could be a lot better if they just stop developing new content for the xbox 360 and ps3 hard to argue that one one way or the other but imagine that argument moving forward to the playstation neo right imagine you're playing on your playstation neo you see something that doesn't quite please your eye and you think damn if only they didn't have to develop this game for the base PlayStation. Imagine if they just developed this game for the PlayStation Neo. You could see the flame wars starting already. And what's interesting about this, right? Instead of it being an Xbox 360 versus Xbox One or Xbox One versus PS4, it's going to be PS4 versus PS4, just different versions of the PS4. That's going to be entertaining. I'm not going to lie. That is going to make me laugh. Uh, I think that the goal here from PlayStation is to not make players feel bad about owning a base PlayStation 4. New games in the future will come out for the PlayStation 4, uh, but will also have a PlayStation Neo version, right? It's a separate version of the game, or it's the same version of the game, but it has faster frame rates or higher res textures, stuff like that. What they're not going to allow developers to do is to omit features from the base PlayStation 4 version of a game that will be in the Neo version. Yes, it can have higher res textures. Yes, it can have faster frame rates. But no, the Neo can't have split screen multiplayer if the base PlayStation 4 version doesn't. So I find that to be pretty interesting. It's definitely a nod to trying to make the games equal equal on both, both platforms. And, you know, it's weird to call two versions of the PlayStation 4, both platforms, but they really will be. This increased speed of the processor, of the GPU, of the memory, will allow developers to extract better graphical quality and possibly other features out of the out of the games they're developing. And that's really interesting to me. For me, I'll definitely be buying this thing. I'll, I'll put my pre-order in as soon as it's available. I'll get this thing day one because you know, I want to see what it's going to be capable of. I want to see uh, what games release with it that are Neo compatible because I'm I'm guessing that games are going to have right on their box, you know, Neo compatible or, you know, extra Neo awesomeness, you know, stuff like that. It should be a really interesting time to be a home console gamer. And I'll be honest with you, I was a little bit disappointed with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One on release. They were not the graphical jump that I was hoping for after the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Those were very old consoles. The 360 and the PS3 were very old consoles, approaching 10 years. And to get a PS4 and an Xbox One, sure, it looked a little bit better, but it didn't look that much better. It wasn't the graphical jump that you get from a PC after using a 360 or a PS3 for 10 years. Certainly not even close to that. So. It is interesting. I am happy. I do think that VR plays a lot into this. Uh, getting a VR headset, if you do not run a game at 60 frames per second or better, you run a real risk of motion sickness. The better frame rate you can get with VR, the happier users of VR are going to be and the less likely they will be to get motion sickness. So I suspect that this new Neo version of the PlayStation 4 is going to really be tied in with the release of the VR headset. And I'm definitely looking forward to the PlayStation VR headset. I think that's going to be a really interesting time to be a gamer. So 
I'm excited about this. I know that a lot of people are very bitter about this news. I'm not one of them. Uh, I like new hardware. I'm a nerd. I'm a geek. I have expendable income, so it's not like I can't afford to buy a PlayStation 4. In fact, I'll probably sell one of my existing PlayStation 4s and just kind of keep that money hidden somewhere and ready to spend on the PlayStation 4 Neo. So I am looking forward to this, but I'm really wondering what you guys are thinking about this. You know, we've seen some upgraded consoles in the past. The N64 had a memory upgrade. The Genesis had the 32X and the C Sega CD. You know, we've seen this before in video game consoles and it hasn't always been successful. I'm wondering what you guys think. Do you think this is a bad decision by Sony? Do you think it's a good decision by Sony? Are you looking forward to this? Are you disappointed because you just bought a new PlayStation 4? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.